Hey guys and happy Farmhouse Friday. So for today I'm going to be taking this little milk jug that I got at a thrift store and I'm going to first start off by cleaning it with some alcohol and then I'm going to um, give it a couple of coats of this Waverly white chalk paint. Now generally I would for something that's glass or ceramic I would give it a coat of gesso and with the gesso, you just give it a coat and then you let it sit overnight. And then you paint over it and that allows it to adhere better and gives it a smoother finish. But I did not have any gesso, so I couldn't do that. And if I don't have gesso, I would generally spray paint. But it is too cold to spray paint here. So um, straight chalk paint it is. So, like I said, I just went ahead and I gave this two coats of the um, chalk paint and that covered it pretty well. It wasn't as smooth as I would have wanted it to be. And usually, <clears throat> excuse me, I see people using spun, like the sponge brushes, but those never really work for me. They, I don't know, my the paint tends to bubble up, so I just, I don't use them. But this worked out fine. Like I said, it, it wasn't as smooth as I would have liked it to be, but it didn't look bad. So I was OK with it. So once I was done giving it those two coats, well, while I was painting it, I realized I needed something to kind of um, put it on so I can get all the way around. And I couldn't find my Lazy Susan. So I just got this metal tin and put it on top of there so I could kind of spin it around. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this black and this is just the chalkboard paint from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take it and I'm going to go around the little borders there with the black. Now, guys, I promise I wasn't drinking. I don't drink, but I could not get this line straight for some reason. And then there was like a piece of one of the bristles that kept sticking out and kind of messing up my lines. I was having some trouble this time, this, this go around here, but I got it together. I just cut off that little bristle that was sticking out, but you'll see here in a minute. I don't know what I was following or what I was trying to trace there, but it definitely wasn't <laughs> the straight line there. It came out horrible, but don't worry. I went back and I fixed it. So it's not too big of a deal, but this was horrible. I mean, I couldn't, and it has lines on there and I still couldn't get it to, <laughs> to come out straight. But that's okay. Like I said, we'll go through and we'll just fix it later. But I'm just going to take this black paint and just like I said, go around the borders. And it already kind of has like, um, like the indentation of what would have been like little metal pieces that go around it. But because I'm kind of making this an enamel look, we're going with the black. So then I'm trying to decide whether I want to do the handles in all black or if I'm just going to do like a portion of it. So I start off with do doing just like a little portion of it and then I end up painting the whole thing. But that's a little bit later. So then I'm going to go around the base of the jug with the black as well. And like I said, just kind of going around and doing that. And now I'm going to fix this piece here. So while I do that, I'm going to tell you about the challenge that I'm a part of. It is a collaboration that is hosted by Meadow Hill Home, and it is called Farmhouse Friday. And basically, it's just making some farmhouse decor. And if you haven't checked out her channel, and if you're not familiar with her channel, I'll leave her information in the description box, along with the playlist for the challenge. And... Um, definitely go check them out, especially if Farmhouse is your jam. You're going to find a lot of inspiration over there and on her channel. So definitely go check the playlist and her channel out. And if you're coming over here from the playlist, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, and I hope you stick around with my crazy little family. Hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, let me know by hitting that like button. And um, like I said, thank you so much for stopping by and for all my returning subscribers. You know, I appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. So here is where I decided to go ahead and paint the whole handle black. Um, I just didn't know until now that that's what I wanted to do. So I went ahead and did that. And then I'm going to go around the top lip of the, um, the jug. I was going to like kind of blot it on there and I decided to just give it a whole thick coat to kind of go with the rest of it. Then I made this little decal on my Cricut. 
like I said, I've been trying to use my Cricut a little bit more. So I did make this decal. If I knew how to, <clears throat> excuse me, make it a shareable link, I would, but I don't know how. If I can figure it out, I'll include it in the playlist. And I mean, in the playlist, in the description box. And as you can see, my little M is messed up, but we will fix that here in a minute. And I didn't have my tweezers, so I just went ahead and used my nails. Usually, you know, I don't use a whole lot of the tools that come with the Cricut just because. Um, but yeah, that is, I went ahead, did that. And then I go through and I just kind of fix up any of the blemishes. And that's it, guys. That's blah, blah. I don't know what I just said, but that's it. And this is how it turned out. And I really, really like it. So Thank you so much, and until next time, be blessed and be the reason someone smiles. Bye, guys.